Now then, and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. And my Three Kingdom, Three Kingdom, I think that's what I'm calling the place, Three Kingdom, is on the rule of threes so far. So we've got um, several things set up at the beginning for random threes, right? Rule of threes to get me by. I got three prisoner beds and three medical beds. I hadn't actually realised I was doing rule of threes like that. Um, I've... I've got many more other things, so it, you can't really go rule of threes all the time. Uh, but what we're doing at the minute is kind of just having a clean up after the last raid and prison break. The prisoners escaped, uh, left us, and ran away. Uh, I've opened up this little area here, which was already built structure. It's a steel wall structure as well, which makes it awesome. So I'll probably use that as part of like my defences and have another one over here somewhere. Who's got the major break? Who is that? This is another new new person. What are they doing? Uh, janitor. Janitor has tailoring and crafting to do. So we'll uh, we'll we'll leave him off crafting. Maybe now nah, we'll we'll leave him on that. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out today what exactly I want to achieve. Right. One thing that we've been mentioning was to get this set up for Livia. Livia is uh, a good character who's good with the medicine. Right. And also growing stuff. So the medicine was the main thing, right? Medicine and animals, right? And my my groovy plan will happen in a couple of episodes. But we've got a few gardens here for our growing skills. We've got some uh, uh, medical area here that we need to sort out with our medicine skills. We'll increase her social skills maybe as she becomes a warden. And we'll build her a little area here for herself. But that seems a little bit far off at the minute because there's so many other things that need doing. Uh, randomly we keep getting um, raids and I've got all these traps and stuff here which are kind of rubbish really kind of rubbish traps they don't really work and I've got a whole area up here that uh, kind of doesn't work either so what I've been considering doing uh, as we are we'll, we'll run on a sensible a sensible level right now what I was thinking of doing was actually making um, making it very difficult for them to find where they need to go in order to get to me. So like making it so that we've got um, almost a maze. Very maze-like I suppose. A very maze-like area that they've got to go around in order to get to me. Uh, they probably break through things but if there's a, a way to walk around I'm guessing that they will choose to walk around rather than anything else. That's what I would expect them to do anyway. It's not likely that they're going to do exactly what I expect them to do, though, is it? But there you go. That's uh, that's worthy. So I'm just going to get somebody to come along and start building all this. And then we're going to put some um, traps, deadfall traps, in each of the locations that they've got to go through in order to get to me. That's my plan. Anyway, I don't know if this works. But Lamb's going to be bringing up all the goodies to help me out here. Uh, let's make it so they come back up here. And then round, and then back down here. And then round, and then back up here. So we just do it like this, basically, right? We'll create this deadfall trap system so that they've got to come round. And then they can get into here, finally. Yeah? So, structure-wise, we'll have the walls here and here. And here, we'll make... We'll make it as walled and good-looking as possible. But I want them to be having to go through this little maze of corridors before they can get to me right that's particularly the plan right that's the particular plan so i'll have him making that for me and i want to do something similar down the bottom here as well uh, where we've already kind of got something i would like to do something again here uh, let's start by cornering off some of these bits that we've already got here um Something like this and just make sure that they have to go through a certain area to get to me so we'll bring it down from here now uh, and then make that the way through there like so we can we can deconstruct these so we can get through those and build copies all the way around here like this. So he's got a lot of work to do, a lot of wood to collect, a lot of doing stuff. But 
at the end of the day, we're going to have a well defensible area. A defensible area is what we need. Let's have it there then. Because I've already placed a few of these just randomly. And while random is the name of the game today, it is not the best way forwards, I don't feel. So we'd have like that. And then maybe we'll just cut this off here. And we'll just deconstruct those ones. We might do some sort of defences in these in some other later date. But for now, I just want a load of wood being used up. And we'll have Lamb just come and build the defences while I'm working on something else. Okay. And hopefully he doesn't get stuck somewhere. So we've got two, like, runs for people who are attacking us to get through. Now I appreciate here that they may just not bother and go straight into these areas. But uh, that is just something I'm going to have to worry about later. And I've got some graves here as well. I was thinking of staggering graves with it so they have to go past graves of dead bodies and stuff before they come into my area. Uh, but that might be future. I just need a quick solution. And this kind of maze of moving around the maze is a quick solution at the minute with lots of deadfall traps. That's all I can think of is a good idea. So hopefully you agree. That'll be great. Yeah. Back down here this way. Um, I'm going to want to start them doing this, but I need to start looking at what their work requirements are. Because, like, the construction-wise, Lamb is the constructor at the minute, and that's good. He's also mining, and that's also good. But maybe I need to get a few other people doing construction work. So if I take off everything else for now, right, just let us think about this, right? Let's see what we've got. So Dr. Livia is our medical person, right? We need somebody who's going to be a great warden as well. And Hanley. Where's Hanley? Where's Hanley? Where are you, Hanley? You're over here. What's Hanley like? Hanley is very good at social, and that's about it. So social and research, maybe, with a little bit of medicine. So we should probably make Hanley um, also up here as the warden. right? So we'll end up with Hanley... And uh, Livia as Warden. Okay? So, when we set this all up, we'll have two rooms up here. So, Hanley will be Warden, but also Doctor. So, Livia will be Doctor and also handle animals. Okay? So, we've got two Doctors on the job, which is good. And I want Livia to also handle animals. I want a kind of like an animal area, an animal sanctuary up here. Uh, possibly with some kind of uh, like fetching and carrying. So she trains the animals to retrieve fallen people and bring them to the hospital. Which sounds really cool to me. I like the idea of that. And she'll also grow stuff and research stuff. And he will also research stuff. But uh, the wardening is probably all you do. Haul, clean and research. Yeah, in the doctor's area will probably be the thing. Now I don't think I have a doctor's area right now manage areas no I don't have an area at the minute so what I will do is I will set this up to all of that kind of stuff and make it so they're kind of restricted to an area uh, but work wise that's what they're gonna do now we've got Murray the housemate we we're gonna need a lot of constructing doing at the minute so I want to get the constructing side of things sorted first and we also need somebody cooking who's supposed to be our cook um, who's supposed to be the best cook Murray is a good cook at five, four, four, four. Let's make Murray cook everything for everybody, and we can do a bit of growing for Murray as well. So Murray is going to be the cook right now. I need somebody to get on with just making food, because food will go to waste very quickly, and everybody needs some food. So I'm going to put Murray on having one job, and Murray's one job is cooking and growing. Actually, we'll just make it cooking for now. We'll just make it cooking, straight up cooking. And then we've got two people with really good growing skills here that can do stuff here. And we don't rely on their construction very much. So that means Janitor and Lamb can be doing that, making all that stuff. They can be growing stuff and we'll get some mining done in a little bit. Uh, crafting wise, the Janitor also is very good at crafting and smithing and tailoring. And that includes making the bricks that we're going to need to build some of these internal areas but for right now 
we shall start by hoping that they're going to get all this done very quickly. See who's going to do the first bit and the second bit and construct that quickly. Do they Have they run out of wood? Is that the problem? Yeah, it looks like they might have run out of wood. Uh, now we've got lots of wood in here. We've got lots of wood. Okay, they're just trying to find things to do. Where's, where's Lam at? Uh, having a little bit of horseshoe time with the janitor. They're both supposed to be working, but I've only just given them a job to do. So now they're having their little bit of fun time, which is good. But boys, listen to me. I am your boss. Go and get on with some work now, please. Okay, I want you to come down here and prioritise building the wall. Lamp, prioritise building this wall. Uh, janitor, prioritise building this set traps. Uh, prioritise working on the wall down here. There we go. Prioritise working on the wall. Right, so those two are going to get on with that. Meanwhile, Murray will get on with um, making lots of food so they've got stuff to eat. And we've got Livia and Hanley will be looking after anybody who becomes injured. And yeah, we should be good for a little bit. Everyone else, I just want them to keep the place clean and tidy. Really? No! Mad animals! Some mad animals attacked. Um, come down here quick. You haven't got a weapon. You have got a weapon. Get down here fast. You are injured. You don't have a weapon. You've already injured. Oh, man. Okay. See, the mad animals are running away a little bit. This is good. Walter, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Come back over here. Thank you. Hanley, stop it. Back over here. That's it. Right, now. Um, shoot him. Beat him up. Beat him up. Move around, move around, everybody. Come on, come on, come on, everybody. Run away, run away now. Livia, run away. Run away. Oh my days, these mad animals. Shoot them. Shoot them dead. Kill them all. Oh, Livia's down now. Murray. Kill it. Nice. Okay, so now, pause. I'll go down to one. Right, Walters, you rescue there. You rescue there. And go for it. Get on with it. Go for it. Do what you gotta do. Murray, you just carry on now. Rescue. I want rescue. I want rescues. Come on. Rescue up. Rescue them up. That's it. Okay. He's retriever is okay. Good, good. Man, they dropped guns and everything. All right. Three raccoons, mad animals. Wow. Okay, now the gun is sick from infection. All my days. They're infected. They're sick with infection. Who who should be looking after them? Um, Hanley. Hanley, get over here and look after them quick. Please. Please sort them out. Focus on... Um, treating... Yeah. Treat them. Make them better. Um, Walters. Walters even. Uh, come over here and prioritise cleaning all this blood up. I need people to clean this blood up. Sterilise the area quickly. Please. Martinez. Come and, uh, come and clean, clean blood. Walters is cleaning all the blood. Okay. Let's clean all the blood up. Disease infection. Who's now got it? Livia's got a sickness infection in her torso. All my days. Okay. It's got so much damage now. Infected and everything. From raccoon bites. This could be the worst of things. I don't know if I've got any of those special medicines. I don't seem to have any special meds, do I? I don't have any special meds to get rid of the infection. And I don't have the ability to manufacture the meds. I don't have the medical facilities yet. It's still way too early for me to get rid of the infection. He's got better though, has he? Uh, he's got this minor infection. Could be worse. It's been treated. But he's not... 
not uh, got rid of it completely yet. Okay. Um, Hanny, what are you about to do? Can you tell me what you're about to do, please? Prioritize treating. Prioritize treating. You're bringing some medicine. Okay. Prioritize treating the other doctor. Let's get both doctors back up on their feet. And then we should be okay for a bit. Oh, look at all the damage he took from raccoon bites. He's already fully healed up. That's good. Well, he's fully treated anyway. Whereas uh, Livia needs quite a lot of work still. To heal up all of these things and bandage her up. The dog also needs a little bit of help. But I don't really have anything to do for the dog right now. I could potentially make... Um... Yeah, I could potentially make a dog bed, um, furniture, animal bed, out of... What have we got? We've got plenty of cloth. Yeah, we've got plenty of cloth. Just make an animal bed out of cloth and put the animal bed in here as well for healing. Maybe that'll sort things out. That's good. And what about the rest of it over here? They're slowly but surely getting this built. It's been taking a very long time, though. They've been, <laughs> they've been doing a lot of hard work. A lot of hard graft, but not really getting anywhere. Um, because, well, you know, there's uh, been problems. Uh, Martinez, I should think you need to get a gun. Just in case things happen again. And Hanley, you can't shoot. Waters, you can't shoot. Wow. They really can't shoot much at all. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to fast forward and hope that nothing really bad happens again. What's Martinez doing out there? What are you doing all the way out there? What are you trying to do? Are you getting back in here? Because what? Because that was too far for you? Why are they going all the way around here now? What? What's the deal with going all the way around there? They go all the way around there to come all the way back again? No. Joking. It's gone all the way around there to get that. Really? Jeez. Oh my days. What are they thinking? Crack on now. Crack on. Pick that up. Come on. Uh, I guess we've run out of wood. Oh my days. Now the janitor started spreading fires. We started fire spreading. <laughs> Livia's just getting out of bed to. Like, oh, don't burn things down around me. She's, she's healed now at least. She's feeling a little bit better. She's going to need a lot of work still, but so does he. Um, I guess they're just going to have to keep running after him until he, yeah, he's, he's feeling better now. They're just going to have to put out the fires, people. Put out the fire. Why is everyone falling asleep? Extinguish fires, people. Extinguish fires. And then go back to sleep afterwards. Come on. Won't take much. Just put the fire out. Stop it burning down everything. That's it. There we go. Now bedtime. Now you can all get to sleep. Awesome. Okay. Might actually be getting things back in order. Oh. <sighs> Man, even the dog's happy again now because they've had a dog bed there for him to sleep in for a bit. Okay. Um, things are okay now. Things are okay. We've still got a lot of wood to collect and a lot of things to do over here. But we're getting there now. Oh my days. Both infected patients died because we didn't have enough time. Well, we didn't have the medicine. So those angry raccoons have not only halted production on the defences to protect us from angry raccoons but they also caused a fight that killed both my doctor and my janitor my doctor of all as well i was actually planning on having the doctor have this whole area to the herself and instead now i've got to think of a new doctor and i'm down two housemates as it were two <laughs> two housemates i'm just looking at housemate i'm down two colonists Oh my days. Hanley, you are now Doctor and everything. Doctor and Warden, all combined. This is now going to be Hanley's place. He's going to have to do the burying and all that kind of stuff as well. Oh my days. Well, never mind, eh? I guess this is why we don't have the Patreons on this save. Because it's far, far, far too, too troubling to see a Patreon die. And uh, far too worrying to see them not get back up again and get the job done. So three random, deadly, angry raccoons 
in the rule of threes came after us and we had two deaths two deaths and because of the two deaths martinez who has now lost his lover livia is uh he's now going on a rampage and he's trying to kill walters and walters having to run away if we bring out anybody who's got a gun then he's gonna be getting beaten up very badly um i kind of need to bring something together here to stop this fighting happening um no don't kill him don't kill him is it going to be destined threes murray's beating him up he's down he's down is he out he's not dead he's just down that's okay so we do not have a death wow hanley now rescue him yeah oh my days so rule of threes and all that we nearly had a third death it was either going to be waters or it was going to be martinez and uh, now they're both having to share <laughs> share this area martinez lamb and waters all injured from a fight all due to the fact that there were three raccoons who killed one of our colonists oh my days what a way this is not exactly how this like 30 minutes of playtime was expected to go another thing i've noticed is do not build your traps first and then try and enclose them you've got to build the, the the run first before you put the traps in because they can't get through the traps so i've deleted all the traps around here and hopefully that'll get sorted but i'm down to five colonists again uh we do have a few supplies going rotten and all that kind of stuff we've got plenty of problems in here but we'll get there we'll get there uh, i think that's all i've got time for this episode though i've kind of got to make up for the fact that i've had the raccoon attack and i'm hoping that we don't have something bad happen in uh, the meantime before the next episode i'd like to actually build this now i'm not building it for a doctor anymore i'm building it for hanny hanny who's going to be the doctor warden um hanny instead of livia yeah and we've got problems all around problems all around isn't that just the the way with it all that is just the way of rimworld i'll see how many more episodes i can survive but until next episode folks thank you very much for watching i'll see you again very soon goodbye